Mic Adlo everyone, welcome to Cordapia TV. If you're new to my channel, my name is Cor and I'm your business nurse from Southeast England. Before I will start my video for today, a big thank you to my 188 subscribers. If you want my channel to grow, please click the subscribe button in this channel. So our topic for today are the 10 UK nurse luggage essentials and my tips. So let's start with number one. So number one would be your identification cards and important documents. So this essential number one includes your passport and other IDs, your travel documents, your credentials such as school and employment credentials, and most especially your NMC related documents. So your number two essential are of course your luggages. So these are your hold luggage or your check-in luggage and your hand carry items. So with regard to this matter, you have to check your baggage allowance with the airline company you are booked with. So the usual baggage allowance ranges from 23 kilograms up to 30 kilograms, excluding your hand carry allowance which is seven kilograms. So just make sure that um, your hand carry doesn't look too bulky and if you're using a carry-on hand luggage ensure that it is a cabin size type of luggage when it comes to your luggage contents you have to check the uk luggage restrictions to avoid any hassle example of the restricted items are meat and meat products plant and plant products like seeds controlled drugs and obscene materials like pornographic um, DVDs. So avoid bringing these items. So since Pinoy tayo, medyo mahirap talaga i-comply itong hindi pagdadala ng meat products. Tsaka mahilig pa talaga tayo sa canned goods. So paswertehan na lang talaga kung mauhuli ka o hindi. Pero kung talaga hindi mo siya mapipigilan makakapagdala ka talaga, eh limitado na lang siguro ang dalhin mo. Konting-konti lang yung um, hindi makakatakaw pansin sa pag i ray ng iyong luggage. Pero dahil first time mong lumabas ng bansa at first time mong pumasok ng UK, for me, it's better for you to follow their rules. So the third essential is money. So ideally, it's much better for you to bring dollars so it's easy for you to exchange it with different currencies. So you can use this money for um, food expenses if you have a long layover. And when, when you come to the UK, you can use this money for your food and transport allowance. Although some employers, they do provide food and transport um, allowance for the newly hired nurses and they also allow salary advance. When it comes to accommodation, most of the employers here in the UK, they do provide a rent-free accommodation for the first month of your stay at meron nga ding iba na up to 2 months or 3 months. So depende lang talaga kung anong company or trust ka mapupunta. Number 4 are your clothes. So if you're trying to budget your baggage allowance and you don't want to have an excess baggage, only bring the clothes depending on the season that you're arriving here in the UK. So kung para sa you OOTD is life, then go ahead, um, select and prepare the clothes according to season. So meron ka pang winter, meron ka pang spring and summer. But don't forget to bring also smart attire just in case there are formal events that you have to attend to. It is also helpful if you bring some thermal clothes, especially kung lamigin ka na tao at hindi enough sa iyong mga ganito, mga turtleneck or mga other garments na pampawarm ng body mo. So okay din yun siya. Meron din mga thermal socks, so helpful yan siya, especially dito sa UK na most of the months talaga malamig. So if you don't want to experience excess baggage, only bring enough clothes, and especially those clothes that you need the most. If you're not a picky person, you can always buy from charity shops, especially for your winter outfit, because the winter outfit will consume a lot of space in your luggage. So, mga second-hand po yun siya na mga damit doon. Mura lang din po siya. And there are also shopping applications widely available here in the UK for you to shop for cheaper clothes like um, eBay, um, Vinted, or Depop. So, meron dyan mga murang damit na hindi pa gamit at meron mostly second-hand na siya. Number five, bring some over-the-counter medications or your maintenance medications. So especially now that you have to quarantine upon arriving in the UK. So I'm not really sure kung kakalabas ba kayo sa quarantine facility para lang bumili ng gamot. So it's much better to be ready than sorry. So yung common na dadalhin mo ng mga over-the-counter medications or yung para sa lagnat, para sa sipon, para sa ubo, or yung overall yung pangtrangkaso na gamot, para sa diarrhea, kung uh, para sa na nahihilo, nasusuka, 
nagagamit mo rin yan siya sa pag-travel mo. So, only bring um, enough supply. Huwag naman yung maramihan na feeling mo mag-bent, mag, magtatayo ka na ng pharmacy dito, di ba? And other thing, since you have to quarantine, tapos after ng quarantine, you will transfer to your accommodation, it will take time for you to take your biometric residence permit. So, yun ang mga isa sa mga um, requirement when you register to a surgery. Ang ibig sabihin pa ng surgery is health center yun siya. Yun ang term kasi British term for the health centers dito sa UK. Especially kung may maintenance ka ng mga gamot. So it would take time for you to register to a surgery here in the UK. Kasi lahat ng mga gamot dito na hindi over the counter needs a GP prescription. So especially now with the pandemic, so the doctors prioritize all of the appointments. So what if you have a maintenance medications and then you are running out of supply? Paano yun, di ba? Napakahirap yun siya. So you better bring a 3-month supply of your maintenance medications para kung sakali na matagalan ka mag-register sa isang surgery. So para hindi ka masita naman sa pagta-travel mo, bring a medical certificate and a prescription that would justify why you have a 3-month supply of your medication. So number 6 are your duty essentials. So mostly of the workplaces here in the UK, they require black shoes. So if you are working in the healthcare, like us, the nurses, they require a spill-proof um, footwear. So apart from spill-proof type of shoes, meron ding mga steel toe shoes. So yung spill-proof, from the word itself, so hindi siya mababasa kung if ever man matapunan ng dugo or any chemicals yung paa mo. Saka yung steel toe, ideal yung siya para kung mahulugan ka man ng needles or any breakable items, at least hindi ka may injured so, masyadong particular ang UK sa injury claims. So, kung yung nurse na prick siya ng nida sa shoes niya at yung shoes niya is not the recommended shoes that the employer advise, hindi siya makakakuha. Probably, di ko sure ha, pero there's a big chance na hindi siya ma-approve ng injury claim. At leave muna tayo. I will show you my duty shoes. So, ito yung first shoes ko sa UK when I was working as a senior carer. So, hindi nga ako trabaho sa hospital. So, there's a less chance for me to be exposed to um, blood spillages at mga needles. Pero, hindi, to, hindi ito ang recommended shoes. Ha? Disclaimer lang, hindi ito ang recommended shoes. Pero, ito yung sinusuot ko when I was a senior carer. Tignan niyo siya. May butas na siya. Dumaan na siya sa maraming gera. Yan. At least buhay pa siya. So, ginagamit ko na lang yung to pang walking-walking. And then, nung nag-level up na tayo, naging nurse na tayo, bumili na ako ng bago. Pero hindi pa rin siya ang recommended shoes. Yan siya. Ah, mga boss, huwag niyo na lang po ako i-report ha. <laughs> okay. So, yun yun siya. Trainers lang ang aking shoes sa work kasi com comfortable siya talaga. Ideally, you have to comply with the recommended footwear to avoid any injuries, especially if you will be working in a hospital. But make sure that this footwear will be comfortable enough and you can endure it for the long hour shift. Other duty essentials are your duty bag, um, fob watch, ito yung fob watch. Naputo lang siya. Kasi mumurahin lang po siya, kaya hindi na siya naka-survive. And then, um, kung may trodat ka sa Pilipinas, pwede mo ring dalhin, magagamit mo rin siya, especially sa documentation kung nasa care home ka. Gamit na gamit siya. Ewan ko sa hospitals kasi hindi naman po ako nakatrabaho sa hospital dito sa UK. Tapos, kung may mga preferred ball pens ka, why not? Ito, kagaya niyan. Kung may preferred ka na ball pens, dalhin mo na siya. Wala siya dito. So, mga ball pen dito, ewan ko. Kung merong maganda, siguro super mahal. So, if you can bring a lot of refills, dalhan niyo ako guys. <laughs> okay, so, duty bag, um, ball pens, fob watch, throw that. Tapos, ito siya optional na ito siya kasi magkukonsume din siya ng space itong tumbler kasi pag magre-refill ka ng um, drinks mo. Um, food containers kasi baon-baon po talaga ang trip dito sa UK para makatipid ka ng pera. You can also bring some stationary products especially kung takot ka lumabas dahil nga sa COVID or nagtitipid ka pa ng pera kasi bago ka pa nga. But make sure na may enough space ka pa sa bagahe mo at hindi ka may excess baggage. For example, kung nagpre-prepare ka for your OSCE, um, helpful din na meron ka mga post-its, uh, mga highlighters, 
So, makakatulong din siya if you have mga staplers, mga punchers, um, notebooks. So, it will help you in preparing for your OSCE. But, if it will consume a lot of space in your luggage, marami naman pong mga bookstores dito. Uh, yun lang. Kasi nga, kung bago kang nurse sa UK or kahit sa amang part ng bansa, parati mo kinoconvert pounds, convert sa peso. So, manghihinayan ka sa pera at hindi mo maiwasan talaga yun siya. So, kung may space ka pa sa luggage, mga insert ka ng mga ganitong bagay, makakatulong siya pag um, magpre-prepare ka for your OSCE. Your number 7 essential items are your electronics. So, not only you will use them for your traveling, but you can use these items in your day-to-day -day life here in the UK. So, bring your charger with you, bring a power bank, and then, especially, you have to bring this 3-pin adapter. Ganyan po itsura niya. Okay? Kasi ganito po ang mga plug dito sa UK as well sa kanila mga extension wires. You can also include in your optional luggage items having an extension wire. So, it is very handy especially if you have a lot of gadgets. At saka kung tamad kang bumangon-bangon na pumunta doon sa outlet para lang mag-charge ng phone or any other gadgets. So, kung magbibitbit ka ng extension wire, put it in your hold luggage or check-in luggage. Balik tayo doon sa adapter. Diba ito yung adapter na dapat dala mo papuntang UK? Dagdag ko lang, pag pumasyal ka naman pabalik sa Pilipinas, ito yung dapat yung adapter na meron ka. Pabaliktad naman siya. So, dito yung tatlo niya. Tapos, ito yung, uh, uh, tawag dyan, yung prong niya na isasaksak mo sa um, outlet. Number eight, bring some of your favorite local products. So, this would include your condiments or your comfort foods. So, some of the local food products that I brought from the Philippines. <laughs> some of the local food products that I brought here in the UK from the Philippines ay yung mga coffee na 3-in-1. Kasi nga, hindi uso dito yung mga 3-in-1 instant coffee. Meron namang mga Asian stores. Yes, may Filipino store nga din doon sa London at sa ibang parts dito sa UK. Kaso, syempre, um, in-export nila yun eh. So, may patong na. Mahal na talaga siya. At yung sinabi ko earlier, pag bago ka pa sa UK, hindi mo maiiwasan to convert everything to peso. So, para maiwasan yun, kung may paborito ka talaga ng kape, you can bring um, at least a one-month supply kung gusto mo. Uh, andi na lang kung that time, yung mga Copico, uh, Copico Blanca, Nescafe, na 3-in-1, ganun yung mga bit-bit ko, at itong mga condiments. Yan. Baka naman, no, hindi to paid advertisement. Tsaka, ito. Yan siya. Ano pa ba? Yan. Kasi, ano, yan. Gusto ko yan siya, eh, para sa tinapay at saka sa biskit. Tsaka, kung may mga hili ka talaga sa sauce, Tineng! Actually, hindi ito galing sa Pilipinas. Uh, binili ko na dito ito sa Asian store. Ano pa ba? At saka yung mga tito and tita essentials. Importante yan. Lalo na nurse tayo. Masakit ang ating katawan from the 12-hour shift. Ding ding! Yan siya. Yung pika scent. Ako, naging advertiser na ako nito. Buti sana kung may bayad ito. Ito siya. Tapos, ito siya. Meron naman ito dito actually sa UK. Marami naman mga essential oils sa UK. Siyempre, iba talaga yung nakasanayan mo nung bata ka pa. Ano yun siya? Tsaka asmatic kasi ako. Meron din ako nito. Yung mga binitbit ko papunta dito sa UK. Pero in fairness, aking asma ha, nung dumating ako sa UK, bihira na lang ako nagkaroon ng asma attack. Kasi ang trigger ng asma ko is alikabok o yung mainit talaga na panahon. O oh, diba, meant to be talaga ako sa UK kasi um, less ang alikabok tsaka malamig siya parate. So just a reminder, if you have to bring your favorite local food products, double check with the UK's luggage restrictions. So I will add the link here in this video. You also want to make sure that if you bring these local products with you when you come here in the UK, that you won't exceed your baggage allowance to avoid uh, incurring fees and may mga instances pa na ipapa-offload yung luggages mo kung hindi ka magbabayad ng extra na fees. The good thing about bringing your favorite food products is that it's for practical reasons. 
So, makakatipid ka for your first month of stay. So, bring some pantawid gutom foods like pancit canton, uh, mga dilata, ganun siya. Pero, wag naman masyadong madami ha. Baka masita ka sa airport, kawawa ka, sayang din yung ginasas mo sa Pilipinas. And then, it will also elevate your mood. Especially kung na-homesick ka. Huwag kang ma-homesick, Diyos ko rin. Ang dami mong requirements na kinumply, huwag kang mapahomesick-homesick dyan. Isipin mo yung mga effort mo tsaka gastos. Walang room for homesickness, okay? Ito additional lang siya. Hindi siya food products or anything but it can be uh, an option for you kung gusto mo siyang dalhin. ting ting <laughs> Ito siya. Tabo. Actually, hindi ko siya bit-bit from the Philippines. Binili ko siya dito online at napakamahal niya. Ang sakit ng aking bangs sa pagbili ko nito. 11 pounds kaya ito. Pero collapsible, ito natabo. Yan. Tingnan mo siya. O, diba? So, hindi siya mababasag kung ihahalo mo siya sa mga gamit mo. So, kung pigtapon-tapon pa yung maleta mo, so hindi siya mababasag. So, I think meron naman dyan na mga shopping website sa Pilipinas. So, um, fine, a collapsible, I don't know what's the English, collapsible tabo, okay? Pero meron naman maraming options actually dito sa UK. For my number 9 item, some people would perceive this an essential item, but for other people, it is an option only. So, my number 9 are beauty products. So, if you have specific preferences which you think are not available here in the UK, for example, glutathione soap. Wala siya dito sa UK. Nalibot ko na siguro lahat ng pharmacy dito sa UK. Wala siya. Mga um, beauty stores, naghanap ako wala siya. Sumakit din ang aking bang sa kakahanap ng glutathione na mga sabon. So, kung nasa Pinas ka pa, magbitbit ka na maraming kojik soap, okay? Kasi wala siya dito sa UK. Hindi uso dito ang papaputi, pampatan po dito. Hindi po uso dito ang pareho sa Pinas na paputian ng skin, pang twilight ang mga, ang mga peg. Hindi uso dito ang mga morena beauty. So, kung morena ka, wag ka na magpaputi. Bentang-benta ka dito. So, if you have any specific beauty products na ginagamit mo, so, you have the research online if these beauty products are available in the UK. So, if they're not available, then it's up to you if you want to bring some of these products. So, make sure it's only a limited amount. And do not bring any injectable products. Lalo na sa mga addicts sa glutathione. <coughs> Wag po, wag nyo na pong i-dare, alright? Last but not the least, this is my number 10 essential item for you to bring when you come here in the UK. So, these are your mental health essential items. So, these items include your religious items. Yan, Bible. Kung may mga binabasa ka sa Pilipinas na gusto mong basahin for your spiritual needs, Tsaka ito, binitbit ko to siya. Galing ka ito sa mama ko. Ano nakalagay? Words of wisdom for the workplace. Galing talaga ng mama ko. Nakalagay pa dito. I would just want to share. I, I know na hindi ito nagmamatter sa inyo. Um, she said to me in the letter, Core, serve your brethren with a happy heart. Reach them out with love and compassion. Love you, baby. Mama. Hmm. So apart from bringing some of your religious items, you can also bring some of your memorable photos with your families and friends for inspiration so you can print out these photos as well and then you can buy album here in the uk you don't need to bring um album because it's a bulky item so now let's talk about my tips before you come to work here in the uk i know it will be a lengthy video for you but i'm just trying to help you to have a hassle-free journey when you come to work here in the UK. So I have outlined 10 tips for you. Number one, make a checklist. You will never go wrong in having a checklist. So it will prevent you from forgetting all the essential things, especially the documents that you have to bring here in the UK. Number two, have photocopies and scan copies of your IDs and documents and save it in a hard drive or USB or in your phone for easy access. This is because time to time, your HR will contact you for you to provide them a copy of your IDs or your other essential documents. So to save you from the hassle of going out and look for a photocopy machines, so bring a lot of photocopies of your essential documents and your IDs. Number three, leave special of attorney document in the Philippines or whichever country you come from because this will give you a peace of mind 
because you have a legal representative to process any transactions on your behalf. For example, um, purchasing a property in the Philippines. So every like realtor or um, a company, they will need a special power of attorney from you. Number four, set up your online mobile banking. So for example, before you leave the Philippines, most of the banks in the Philippines are offering already uh, mobile banking. So this will give you convenience when it comes to checking or keeping track of your money or if you have uh, monthly responsibilities that you have to pay. Number five, use vacuum bags when packing bulky items like your jackets. So this one, yeah. This will save space in your luggage. Trust me, it will save at least 50% if you have like winter clothes, it will save the space. And for your liquid items in your luggage, have a zip lock. And if you have a plastic container, it will also um, spare your clothes if something happens with your liquid items. So have a zip lock as well. Number six, if you have a weighing scale at home, then you can use it. But if you don't have, you can buy a hanging electronic scale. There's a lot of shopping websites available. So it will give you a preview of what would be your estimate luggage weight to prevent you from having baggage excess okay number seven for your hand carry bag place these items in your hand carry example your documents money um toothbrush and your uh, girly stuff and bring extra clothes just in case if something happens along the way in your journey if you get stranded if you have a very long layover Number eight, take a photo of all your hand carry items and your check-in luggages before you travel to the airport, before check-in, and upon your arrival in the UK. This is because of mixed emotions that you are feeling before you travel to the UK, you know? Because you're overwhelmed and excited. So you may tend to forget these important things that you are um, bringing with you, your hand carry and your luggages. And then because of stress as well because it will be a long flight so when you arrive in the uk check your phone check your phone and check your items what's in there and then double check when you claim your baggages not unless if you lost your phone ibang usapan na din yun kung nawala mo yung phone mo diba tapos hindi mo pa naalala yung mga gamit mo ay yun na talaga ang uh, bad luck for my number nine tip find time to familiarize yourself with the british culture with the British slangs and the common medical terms here in the UK para hindi ka po mangarag pagpunta mo dito sa UK so parang feeling mo rin na ay I belong di ba the most important of all tips that I gave to you is pray and be strong magbaon ka po ng maraming dasal at saka tibay ng loob and then confidence yun na masasabi ko tibay ng loob kasi talaga mahuhumsik ka pero ang sabi ko sa iyo tibayan mo ang loob mo kasi nga nandito ka na wala nang wala nang back out pa okay and confidence because we are foreigners working in a foreign country so we have to adjust with the environment and their culture but you have to be confident do not let them um, underestimate you because you work hard for your profession in the Philippines and I know you are smart enough wag kang wag ka namang magpapabuli okay walang mabubuli kung walang magpapabuli um, bear that in mind okay so hopefully you find this video helpful especially for those nurses who are coming here in the UK I'm so happy for your journey and hindi man tayo makikita kita dito kasi napakalaki ng UK well I'm so happy to reply to your messages I have a Facebook page Cordapia TV if you have any questions or um, clarifications or mga suggestions um, for my YouTube channel don't be shy message me nagre-reply po ako uh, kung malate man ibig sabihin duty po ako noon or natutulog ako kasi iba po tayo ng um, time zone so thank you so much for watching the video and and kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please do subscribe. And then kung ting sa tingin mo marami makabenefit nitong video na ito, also share this video as well. Good luck to your UK journey and hopefully you will have a safe flight. Ingat po kayo at congratulations, isa ka ng UK RN kahit hindi ka pa naka-Oscar. Positive lang, okay? I'll see you. Bye!
Thank you.